The morning after that tornado touched down right here in South Mississippi and survivors have a long road ahead of them. Here's some of the headlines coming out of yesterday's storm that we'll be covering this morning. More than a thousand people without power. Crews working around the clock to get the lights back on. And the Moss Point High School taking a direct hit with the school stadium taking that significant damage. We'll have that story in video and a story of survival. We speak with neighbors who had only moments to spare before that twister roared down on their street. But first we begin this morning with a broad view of what exactly happened to Moss Point and over there in Jackson County. Take a look at this video. It shows that homes, businesses, even churches were damaged by yesterday's tornado. First responders went door to door checking to make sure residents were okay. You can see the power lines laid across the streets and yards, trees toppled over, roofs ripped to shreds. Jackson County Emergency Management Director Earl Etheridge saying hundreds of buildings were damaged or destroyed. And this morning, several people having to spend the night at a temporary shelter at Pelican Landing. But crews are not giving up. The height of at the height of the storm, roughly 3,000 people were without power. But as of this morning, that number is less than 700. New drone video this morning showing just how widespread the damage was. Official, officials have confirmed that a tornado did cause this damage in Moss Point. Officials with the National Weather Service will be on the ground this morning to determine that tornado's strength. This video showing homes already covered with blue tarps. And as you can see, the extent of the damage to the First Missionary Baptist Church, as well as other nearby buildings right there. The church lost most of its roof and its learning center also took some heavy damage.